Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to talk about the configuration of F5 ASM uh, or application security management with uh, DVWA. F5 has a basically a module called ASM or application security management module, which basically is a WAF or a web application firewall. And you can set that up with any web application firewall and uh, basically provide an additional security layer for your web applications. We're going to do some tests with DVWA. DVWA is damn vulnerable web application, which you can find it on the internet for free. You can download it for free. And uh, it basically is a application testing platform, uh, which you can run a lot of uh, vulnerabilities. It does have a lot of vulnerabilities and you can test a lot of vulnerabilities on these, these application. I'm going to head over to my uh, basically F5. As you can see, my F5 is uh, here and I'm just going to the uh, security tab. Basically, as you can see, the first thing I do is, is uh, moving it to the security tab and you can see that uh, basically once you have some policies in place, this is, this is the overview or dashboard that you can look into. At the same time, this is the interface for DVWA or Down Vulnerable Web Application. And basically you see that you can do a lot of different tests uh, against this, this application here. So Going back to F5, I'm just going to show you how we can basically create a policy here. So we go to the application security. First thing we do is security policies. You click on that uh, plus sign over there in the security policy and it will start creating a uh, application policy for us. So if you already created the uh, virtual server on F5, so a lot of you might be familiar with that. Uh, basically F5 works as a proxy, so you need to have you need to create a virtual IP and a node uh, so F5 can basically act as a proxy in between. If you've already done that, um, obviously you can use it here. You can click next and just select it from the list. If you haven't done that, you can clear, uh, set up, uh, select new virtual server and basically create it as we go. Or if you want to just create a policy without associating it to any virtual server, you can do that too. So I'm going to select new virtual server and go. So as you can see uh, here we can specify the virtual server name. I just go DVWA. My address is going to be the IP address of my DVWA is going to be 172.21. Oh sorry. This would be the address of my node here. The IP address of the actual um, Server is going to be something that on F5, which is uh, basically a connected interface of the F5 or one of the IP addresses that is in the same range of your F5. So that we select HTTP here and HTTP there. So that is basically what it what we are doing here is we say, okay, people can access that DVWA interface with that IP address 172.21.14.250 uh, on port 80. And basically the, the, the actual node is going to be this IP, which is the IP address of our DVWA server. 172.21.131.26. What do we want to log? Do we want to log all requests or do we want to log illegal requests? We log all requests for now. So this should be ready for us to proceed. We go next. <coughs> so this next phase is um, if you want to create a uh, automated policy. So this would basically this is basically learning mode on F5 ASM. So it would start listening to the traffic for a while and start creating uh, policies and doing enforcements automatically. This is this is a pretty good actually uh, way of doing it when um, you have time and you want to obviously let the F5 to start listening to the traffic and uh, basically do the learning. Um, it's very very important if you want to do that. But if you don't have time, you want to create a policy quickly. You also have the second option you need to understand a little bit more when you're doing that but uh, we're going to go ahead with a manual creation for now uh, you have the option obviously to create xml profiles or you have the option to integrate it with the third party vulnerability assessment tools as well if you want to do that so uh, basically mitigate vulnerabilities on the web application automatically so we're going to select the manual process for now and click next so the next step is to identify our policy name, DVWA policy, policy. 
and obviously application language um, if you have any specific template you can uh, select your template if it is or uh, we could just select the rapid deployment uh, security policy this is actually a pretty good uh, policy that you could use for creating uh, a policy fast and this enforcement readiness period seven days is where <laughs> f5 if if it finds anything new it would by default lessen for it for seven days to identify whether that pattern um, is is common or not and understand whether uh, uh, that's really a false positive or actually uh, something that we really need to think about blocking so that's uh, that's what it is we click next so the next step is to select the platform so you see some uh, standard uh, rule sets and some standard signatures already included so we're going to select Linux Apache and basically look for PHP <coughs> so we're selecting these ones because that's what the DVWA is is, is Linux and Apache and PHP code and uh, uh, we obviously want to put the signatures on staging that means if you find if f5 finds new signature matches it's not gonna obviously start blocking things automatically it would listen for the traffic put them in a staging for a while and learn uh, for a while before actually it does that so apply signatures to the responses we don't want to do that for now we just click next and obviously the last page we review all the configuration that we've done and if it is acceptable then we click finish so this would basically create our uh, policy so as you can see it's actually trying to uh, create our policy and uh, once the policy is created the next step is obviously which uh, we we are going to talk about the next steps in, in other, another video but the next step is basically uh, tuning that policy and understanding obviously how we can really deal with that policy without any false positive without interrupting the application as you can see the policy by default goes to transparent mode so it's not going to block anything and then Obviously, we have the basic and advanced option if you want to change the settings here. <coughs> so we're going to basically see the, some descriptions and we can change the policy to blocking. You see the enforcement period if you want to change it. You see the error types and stuff that would be allowed and so on and so forth. So there are some configuration here that you could uh, actually play with and change. Uh, but the next step is actually the biggest step that we are going to go through tuning the policy and understanding how we can actually make our policy to be to be effective and useful with that i'd like to thank you for viewing and i will be with you in the next video